Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com, and this is your free daily Forex video for Friday, October 30th, 2009. Quick reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations here, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky, so please don't trade any real money until you have established a proven track record of success on a demo account. Trading conditions are always changing, so make sure to watch tomorrow's video to stay updated. Alright, first of all, a uh, pretty bullish reversal occurred yesterday, specifically on the Euro-Dollar pair. Uh, the whole move started after the advanced reading of the US GDP uh, was released. Digging deeper, we'll find that autos accounted for a very large portion of this number. Uh, the total growth of the GDP was 3.5% versus 32 as expected. Now the bounce off 146.80 coincided perfectly with the 61.8% retracement level from the recent low of 145 down here to the high of 150.60. This low at 146.80, I'll show you right now as a matter of fact. We take the Fibonacci tool and Put that right here. Look at that 61.8% retracement level. Granted, it dipped a little bit further, but that's a pretty good reading of um, of a possible bounce and further continue or further signs of a possible continuation uh, further north. Now, as I mentioned in the, in the ask the expert section when we did the uh, analysis on the tool describing how it worked, it's also possible that we can continue going further south. Here's the Fibonacci from the recent high of 150.60 to the recent low of 146.80. If we take a look, it's currently uh, passing the 38.2% retracement level. 148.80 is at the 50% retracement level, and 149.20 is at the 61.8% level. So it is possible we can continue uh, further north up to the 149.20 level before a resumption further south. Um, I mentioned yesterday that I wasn't expecting such a bullish uh, reversal today. Uh, we wanted to see possible further signs of uh, deterioration in the euro uh, before the market calmed down a bit, uh, ranged for a couple of days, and then uh, started heading back up north to, to retest 150. We'll see what happens today in Europe. There's much more data coming out of uh, out of the U.S. with personal spending. Uh, that'll show signs of whether or not consumers are uh, happy with the state of the economy and if they are beginning to spend. Many analysts are still split between the economic recovery and a possible double dip recession. Many blame the stimulus plan for the better than expected data and say that it cannot be sustained. Others are saying that this will provide the stepping stone for further growth. Only time will tell. Currently looking at the euro dollar trading at 148.35 bouncing off the 146.80 level. I'm going to take the Fibonacci off. First level of support is going to be at 148, followed by 146.80. Excuse me, there was one level I forgot to mention here. It's the 147.80 level. So below 148, which is our first level, is 147.80. Below that is 146.80. And below that, we'll look at 145. First level of resistance is at 148.80. followed by 150, excuse me, here it is, and above that we're going to look at 150.50, a retest of 150.50. I also want to throw in the 148.50 level in here because this is where the market stalled yesterday. It's definitely very possible that we're going to break through the 148.50 level today, uh, but I want everybody to uh, to be mindful of this level, 148.50. So once again, I'm going to go through this. Resistance first level is at 148.50. Second one is 148.80, which is much more important, followed by 150. Uh, and I'm going to make one more addition, and that's at the 149.20 level. That's uh, where we're going to find the 61.8% retracement level. So uh, bear, excuse the last minute adjustments. I uh, wanted to make sure we get the 149.20 level in here. Okay, moving on to pound dollar, currently trading at 165.57. I've zoomed out of the graph a bit to get more of the data in here. Uh, it's quite important that we find this 158 level to the top of 167.20. 
First level of support is going to be at 164.50, followed by 162.50. We would like to see a dip below that to test 161.20. That's our third level of support for the pound. Below that, we'll see 160 and 158. First level of resistance is going to be at 166. Above that is 167.20. A break above that is going to lead us to 170. This 167.20 level is very important. If we go back a few times, uh, we tested the 167.20 level a few times throughout the summer. Uh, 166 was tested three or f three times, but 167.20 was definitely a big area of rejection. Uh, so now we've stalled once again at the 166 level. We'll have to wait until the European session to see if the Euro Europeans are going to continue pushing this pair uh, higher, or if they're going to reverse and um, and get the market to move lower. If we look at the Fibonacci retracement, we can see that the bounce uh, was very close to the 150 uh, level from the recent uh, lows in October to the recent highs. We are still a dollar uh, bull here, at least in the very, very short term. We think today's uh, anomaly, uh, or today was an anomaly. Uh, the GDP was an advanced reading. There are going to be two more revisions, and uh, we're thinking it's going to uh, fall back to the 164.50 level, maybe as low as 162.50. Uh, but again, uh, momentum right now is for further pound gains. What's important here is this break of this pivot high at 166.80. Looking at the dollar Swissy, bounced off this trend line once again. We, um, If everything goes to plan, uh, that is if uh, momentum carries the dollar to lose more ground, we could test 101.60. Our first level of support for the dollar is at 101.30, followed by 101. Below that is 100.30 and parity. First level of resistance for the dollar is going to be at 102. Above that is 102.80, which is yesterday's high. Above that is 103.20 and 103.50. Last level of resistance is going to be 104.50. It's going to be a while before we see that level, but uh, we are hoping to see a reversal up to the 102.80 level today. Again, that's going against the trend, uh, at least in the very short-term trend as far as talking about yesterday's um, bearish dollar reversal. Dollar Yen currently trading at 91.45. Uh, very near this 91.50 level we've been monitoring. Uh, we're going to leave that level out for now. First level of resistance for the dollar is at 92, followed by 92.30 and 92.50. Our fourth level is 93.20. First level of dollar support is at 90.20. Below that is 89.50. 88.80 and 88.20 are third and fourth levels. And finally, 87.20 is going to be our fifth level of support. If you'd like a more detailed analysis with our potential trade opportunities, please join us in the, in the members section. This has been Alex Kazmark with the FXEdge.com free daily Forex video for October 30th, 2009. Happy Friday, and until Monday, good luck trading.